When we think of fraternities, let's be honest, we think of this. The Deltas. What a great bunch of guys. And maybe this. We're going streaky! Well, bye-bye boys only clubs. Within three years, fraternities at Connecticut's Westland University are required to let the ladies in. The move follows a decision earlier this month to close Beta Theta Pi fraternity that house after a woman fell from a third story window. But the school says the changes are not because of one specific incident. In fact, the school had a lot of incidents, especially with Beta Theta Pi, says the New York Times, and very, very serious ones at that. In 2010, administrators banned students from socializing in houses or property owned, leased, or operated by private societies that are not recognized by the university, specifically the Beta Theta Theta Pi fraternity. The next semester, a student was raped at the Beta Theta Pi house. And in April, hundreds of students, alumni, and faculty signed a call to action urging the universities to end all male fraternities. Wesleyan University doesn't have any residential sororities, but it does have two residential fraternities that will be affected by the change. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.